damage the engine. It also cleans up the gases before venting them into the air. A properly functioning exhaust system does another big job, muffling the noise of the engine. And for that, our ears thank them. This system of metal tubes and plates is rarely noticed until it breaks down. And then the exhaust's importance is loudly driven home. To make an exhaust system, a mechanical puller draws a stainless steel strip up into a punch press, shuffling it back and forth to allow for a precise cut with little waste. The press brings 60 tonnes of force to bear as it pushes the steel into a die. It punches out a baffle shape with holes in it, which will form the skeleton for the exhaust box. The finished baffles fall onto a conveyor belt and go into a storage cage. Now, a long steel tube tumbles towards automated blades, which score the tube to prevent denting, and then cut it to produce smaller tubes that go inside an exhaust. A circular saw descends on another tube to make a tailpipe. A louvre machine spins and punctures one of the inside tubes. The holes will regulate airflow in the exhaust. A bending machine grips and bends a pipe in several spots. This is how the inlet, intermediate and outlet tubes are made. These tubes run the length of the exhaust system. Then, a tube is placed in a circular hydraulic vise, which pinches the end down to a prescribed diameter. Two baffles are placed in a jig. The tubes are fitted through the holes in the baffles. Three mandrels slide into the tubes. The mandrels expand, locking the tubes to the baffles. Then they contract and slide out. Now the baffles and tubes are one piece. Next, a robotic arm picks up metal sheets which will become the outer skin of the exhaust box. It pushes them under an oval mould. Another arm with numerous rollers on it moves up and wraps the steel around the oval form. Then, a metal block moves over the ends, double folding them. This locks them together and it completes the assembly of the exhaust's outer skin. Magnets pick up the new skin and sliding on rails, they relay it to a mechanical claw, which in turn feeds it to a flanger. The flanger bends the edges, creating a lip on either end of the skin. A carousel turns and a mechanical claw transfers the newly flanged exhaust skin to the stuffing position. Hydraulic pushers press the pre-assembled baffles and tubes inside the skin. After the exhaust is stuffed, the robotic claw transfers it to a conveyor belt. Next, each end is pressed against a set of steel expansion fingers. The fingers move forward into holes in the exhaust. They expand and lock the baffles and tubes inside to form one solid internal unit. Grippers place the exhaust on a spinning machine that will fasten the caps on. Rollers press against the flared edges of the revolving exhaust, tightly locking the end cap to the rest of the body. Here, you see the rolling in slow motion. It takes only a few revolutions to do the job. backs away and the mechanical arm grabs the exhaust and transfers it to a conveyor belt. And that's how they're made. After all that, I'm exhausted.